Right guys, so <clears throat> I thought I would uh, basically sit down now and talk about my time. I, uh, I've had two weeks with the uh, Nokia Lumia 1520. Now as we all know it is a large device so I just thought we'd get these jokes out of the way first. Hello, I'm in the library. <laughs> yeah, that one's pretty funny too. Right, so, it's all getting a bit old. But, uh, is it? I mean, you've got Apple that are about to come along and do a device pretty much almost as big as this, tab this tablet, phablet, phone, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's, you know, it's a hefty device. Now, I've kept my work clothes on today and that's purely to sort of like show you how I've been sort of carrying it around. Um, now I've got a, I've got a pair of jeans that I wear at a weekend, which are just some general sort of, uh, well, they're a straight leg by Next, I believe. So they're just a, you know, fairly standard sort of jean. And if I'm sitting on a standard sort of chair, it comfortably fits in the pocket. So, you know, is it really too big? You know, at what point do you say it's too big? So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's all going to come down to uh, personal sort of experience. So anyway, let me just show you a minute. So we've got in here, that's where I've just been carrying my iPhone 5. And in the one behind it, that's where I've been carrying this. Okay. So you can see that it fits. Now, in some pockets, it doesn't fit. And in others, it does. So, um, you know, I mean, yeah. It's big, I mean, you know, doing this, you know, it's, it's a large device. But, uh, so I, I thought really that uh, more than anything, I just wanted to um, sort of like talk about how I found it more than anything else. I mean, you know, we all know it's got Gorilla Glass and, you know, the Snapdragon and the 20 megapixel camera and all the rest of it. But, you know, what's it like in sort of like real terms? So, um, you know, I've, I've actually really enjoyed having it. You know, I mean, I am, I am, I suppose, a bit of an Apple fanboy, you know. Um, I am sort of heavily invested into the, the Apple ecosystem. Um, so I've got, you know, an iPhone 5. I uh, use Mac and I use um, an iPad, 64 gigabyte uh, iPad Air. So, you know, I'm financially, I'm pretty well invested into Apple now. So from that point of view, I'm not going to change. It's not going to change me. However, I would have one quite happily as a second device. I maybe wouldn't quite go as big as this one. I'd probably go for one of the smaller ones. Um, and that's purely because I just find it that little bit big for the carry around side of things. But holding it wise, it's, you know, I find it absolutely great, really. I mean, you know, give it a double tap on there, you know. Slide that up and you're straight into your, uh, you know, your home screen sort of thing. Um, the tile system, I find, lends itself perfectly well to, um, to the, uh, the whole idea of being a, a sort of mobile device. Now, I've, I've had a go with Windows 8 on a laptop and using the tiles, I didn't like it. So I did have to alter its appearance so that it looked more like a normal desktop. I did because it just it just doesn't work. I don't think. Uh, and even as a touch screen, I think the touch screen on this particular laptop wasn't that brilliant. I can't even remember what the laptop was now to even sort of like tell you. As a touch screen, it works better using the tile system, but it doesn't really uh, lend itself to a proper sort of desktop. I found. Um, my favourite Windows is XP, as many of you will actually know, um, and I still use that at work to this day. And I think if uh, if the boss came along and said, right, we're, we're going to go to uh, Windows phones, then I'd, I'd be quite happy with that as a, as a, a phone, you know, that I was just going to use for work. You know, myself, I am basically iOS. I'm, so financially invested in that now that I just can't see me changing back unless you know things went seriously wrong and Apple seriously messed up then you know maybe I would 
Now, the biggest thing I found with this, um, for me as a, um, doing videos, vlogs, stuff like that, because I do have a vlog channel as well, and the biggest thing I found was getting the footage off. Now that was a, a strange bit, because what I did was I, I would normally uh, say with Apple, I quite often just plug it in, it opens iPhoto, and then you can just drag your footage out. It's as simple as that. With this, I plugged it into my Mac, and iPhoto opened, it launched exactly as I expected. It opened up a little, um, uh, like a little library for it, and named it Lumia 1520, and then nothing. I just got the little spinning wheel, and absolutely nothing appeared in there. So obviously there's a compatibility issue there between the two, which, you know, to be fair, it'd be fair to expect it. So what I eventually found that the best way to do it was basically to have a OneDrive account, uh, which I already had anyway. Um, upload it to OneDrive, or you can automatically do it. Basically, you can set this up to automatically upload whatever you tell it, Snap or video or whatever, straight to OneDrive. Now, the only thing is with that is OneDrive is slower than say um, iCloud sharing on Apple. So you did have to wait that little bit longer before you could download onto the Mac and what have you. But it worked. So, you know, if you were gonna get one of these, I would advise having a, a OneDrive account, without a doubt. So, you know, and that mainly was my main sort of, I suppose that's my main bone, con bone of contention with it. The camera is uh, absolutely superb. Um, for taking photographs. Uh, nearly. Right, so you look in there now, and you know, you can see the face tracking and everything, and it works absolutely fine. So, and you know, I mean, I'm not sure how well that's showing up on there, but that is giving great sort of quality, and you can see the backlight lights up and everything that takes the photograph, and let's have a look at that now. and. You know that has given a really good quality photograph really so you know from that point of view the the, the camera is is brilliant the, uh, the especially the rear facing uh, until it gets low light once the light gets low it starts to suffer somewhat and the video on it now I noticed that when you take video with it by the time you've uploaded it I find that the colors pop that little bit more it really does something with the colours. Now I don't know whether it's, you see I've got slight colour blindness. Now you get a slight, to me, I'm finding that I'm getting a slight increase in the, in the strength of the colours. Makes them really vibrant and I, I really do, I actually liked it more from that point of view. But the actual video quality seemed just a little bit not quite as good as the iPhone. Maybe it is, you know, maybe it's just me and my perception of it. Um, obviously, you've got your games where, you know, so you can connect to your uh, Xbox account. So, you know, that's obviously a, a big bonus for Xbox users, users, sorry, which I'm not actually. So, you know, but you can actually download some of the games out of there and play them. You can also get them in the, uh, the Windows Store. Now, the apps, they're, they're not brilliant. Um, they tend to be a little more buggy, I've found, um, especially Instagram. Uh, although Instagram is a beta and it does say that it's a beta and you can't always get rid of the notifications off it. Um, I mean, I've just been in there, it says there's nothing, yet you look on there and it's still saying that I've got nine notifications, which it just shouldn't have. Uh, YouTube, it wouldn't let me flick between the two separate accounts very well. Uh, that was a little bit buggy as well. Uh, Facebook, that's great, no problems there. Uh, Twitter, a little on the slow side, and I also tend to use Tweetbot, which automatically pins to the top, and I prefer that system. Um, internet browsing, absolutely fine. Uh, mail, Hotmail, absolutely brilliant for that. Um, Skype, I didn't really get to try Skype because uh, I just didn't really have anybody else with it that was sort of like willing to spend a bit of time on it with me. Uh, gaming, it's absolutely fantastic for gaming. The screen size is great. And, you know, the, the, the screen is a nice one. It's got good viewing angles, although that's not really a massive issue, I find, because, you you know, it's a, it's a device that you're going to hold in front of your face anyway, so... 
Um, I've been playing uh, fail hard, real speed, stuff like that, and um, <laughs> they're actually they're actually really really good. I like having the bigger screen for that. Uh, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, I think the real issue with it is just that size. It's just that little bit too big, and I've, I'm sort of like in between the two because there I am, right? I'm saying, oh, well, that's too big, but I'm looking at it right now, you know, and you get used to it so quickly. And it's, it's really quite a joy to use. And then I sort of put it down and I pick up the iPhone and I go, oh my God, where's my phone gone? And it's, it's like, I've just got this tiny little, you know, it's just so small. So in that, I'm sort of looking forward to Apple's upgrade. Whether I'm gonna go for the bigger one or not, I'm not so sure. Because, it, uh, I mean, it's what, it's, uh, well, according to the rumors, it's half an inch smaller than this one, on the, obviously on the, on the diagonal uh, measurement there, so I'm not sure. But the UI, it works great, absolutely great. Uh, I would definitely have one as a second phone. Notifications is pulled down the same as iOS, um, and you can see them all in there, and of course you can just clear them all in one go. And also you can get into there, you can get to uh, your Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, flight mode, rotation lock, and your automatic uh, screen level lighting, uh, you know, for when you walk in and out. But yeah, I mean, if they got a bigger sensor on that camera, then I think the, the camera would be pretty much perfect. The front camera's not quite so hot, but it's okay. Um, I've heard people going on about um, the heat generated from when you're taking video and stuff like that. And the heat always appears basically around here, around the back of this sort of camera area. And I've found actually that it's not just from when you're taking video or photographs. I have found that it's basically, um, it's whenever you're doing anything. If you're browsing or uh, using, you know, using Twitter, Facebook, whatever you're doing, it starts to generate heat. And it's not, oh my God, this is so hot, I'm gonna have to send it back and have it looked at. But it does get warmer than other devices. All devices get warm, you know, the iPhone gets warm if I go out and start vlogging with it, you know, it's, it's caning, it's basically, it's, it's caning the processor. Uh, and this one gets particularly warm, I think, but it's not, I'm not scared of it. But yeah, it does get warm. But uh, Office, that integrates uh, fine across to um, whatever I do. You know, um, I've done a few Office, uh, one or two things like um, a Word document, stuff like that. That all works great across to the, uh, the work computer. And like I say, it's just been an absolute joy to use. I'm, I'm actually sad to see it go. I am definitely sad to have to send it back, uh, but uh, nevertheless, it is going to have to go back. So, um, I mean, you know, leave your comments underneath. I want you to tell me what you think about the size. I mean, you know, it, it is a big phone to hold. You know, I can't deny that. But um, you get used to it, and it really is actually very nice. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think underneath, guys. Um, I mean, I'm, you know, it's, it's, it's just, I suppose at the end of the day, it's just, it's just the, another operating system, you know? I mean, you've got, all your photographs are in there, you know, I've, I've uploaded quite a few to, um, if you follow me on um, Instagram, just go and check on Instagram, you can see the quality of the photographs there. Uh, I've even put up some in my uh, vlogs and stuff like that, some footage in my vlogs and stuff. So, you know, please check them out and then you can see what sort of footage it's giving. Uh, it's really good. Um, I'll leave all my social links underneath. Uh, also, I want you to give uh, at Connects a follow, a shout out, whatever. I'm going to make sure that they're mentioned in the title of this video because uh, I really do appreciate them sending this out to me for uh, a review because without them, this wouldn't have happened. And I've certainly really enjoyed it. So it's been a bit of an eye opener, especially from the size point of view. So yeah, leave your comments underneath guys. Uh, give me a thumbs up and um, I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.